Hey, welcome back. So we've been talking through ideas in a forces unit for a physics class, but what I'm going to talk about now also applies to a physical science or even as a basis for an AP physics class as well. So I want to talk about equilibrium as a concept and what that means so you know when you see it how to deal with that. So let's go ahead and get to it. First of all, what do you think it means to say something is in equilibrium in terms of physics? So if something's in equilibrium, what does that mean to you? Well, one really important idea with equilibrium in terms of physics is that the net force on an object is zero. So that's what's called the first condition of equilibrium. There is actually a second condition of equilibrium as well that we can talk about later in the year. It has to do with the rotational motion, and that condition of equilibrium says the net torque on an object is zero. The net turning ability on an object is zero but we haven't talked about that yet we're not in rotation yet so don't worry about that for now just just worry about the idea that the net force on an object is zero and the first thing that i want to address with this is a misconception so certainly if like two people are standing if we drew a free body diagram of the major forces on this student for instance right here you would say the students in equilibrium because the sum of the forces are equal to zero there's no net force on this student right here and that's not tough for students to get. What is tough for students to get sometimes is the idea that something can be moving and still be in equilibrium. It just means the forces are balanced on that object, which means the object is not accelerating. So if something's moving at a constant rate, a constant velocity, it is in equilibrium, actually. And that's the misconception that's hard for students to learn when they're first learning about this idea. So if I were to use a diagram of my old truck and ask the question, can a truck move at a constant velocity and be in equilibrium? The answer is yes, it can move at a constant rate and be in equilibrium. Because if it's moving at a constant velocity, it is not accelerating. So just to recap, when something is in equilibrium, that means the forces are balanced on it, or there's no net force on that object, you could say. And secondly, that object could be in motion, could have constant velocity, and be in equilibrium. It could also mean it's just not moving at all. And in that sense, it's not accelerating either. And that's the easier way to understand this. All right, well, that concludes this quick lesson on equilibrium. I needed to introduce it before we see it in problems that are coming up. And you may see it in your problems, your work in school as well. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any comments, let me know below. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.